All right, so I'm gonna show you how to measure caster and camber. And we're gonna start with camber. So this is a fast tracks gauge. And the first thing that you do is you zero it out on the ground. You can see that we have zero degrees right there. And then you tighten down that knob. Now this ground is not level. And so you have to do that next to every tire that you do. If you do that wheel, if you do this wheel and so on. So then we go ahead and we mount this into the wheel. And um, it's supposed to stay there, just like that. So it's mounted into the wheel now. Now we can take our, our reading. And this is inaccurate because we are not on a level surface. Uh, but these are set at about negative 3 degrees of camber. Now, if we want to do the uh, caster reading, if we want to measure our caster, which is right here, you see the cast, caster sweep. First thing we have to do is turn this tire out 15 degrees, zero this gauge, and then turn it in, and we'll get a reading on our caster. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so as you can see, we have turned this out 15 degrees. How can you tell that it's 15 degrees out? Because this little caster sweep thing is parallel with our car. And so we just look out the window, turn the wheel until that is parallel with our car. And now we zero out the gauge. So I come over here and I zero this out. All right, so because I'm not on level ground, I can't get it to go to zero, but the idea is to get this bubble to go to zero. And then we're gonna turn it back the other way and we'll read it. So what we can do to get an accurate reading is see what degrees we are at right now. Three and a half, and just subtract that from whatever reading we get here. All right, so we measured that right around 10 and a half, which indicates about seven degrees of positive caster. What does caster mean? If you notice, the wheel tilts in more when I turn it in. See how far the wheel is leaning in there? The more that we turn the wheel in, the more it leans over. That's without getting into the technical side of caster. So yeah, we're running about seven degrees positive caster on this car, negative three degrees of camber. Now this is a dual wishbone car. What do I do on a strut type car to change the caster and camber? This car has struts. Let's take a look at how we adjust caster and camber on this car. All right, so on this car, it has a more common type of suspension setup, and that is the strut type suspension setup. And so what I can do on this car, this is an aftermarket coilover. All right, so now you can see there's a plate inside of here. We can move this strut up and down, so inward and outward, and that will actually change the camber of the wheel because there's no upper control arm on this car it's it's a strut type suspension you just have the lower control arm and then the strut going up to here and so this is how we adjust our camber on this and then again back to the s2000 i think i've already explained how i adjust camber and caster on this car but in case you haven't seen that if we go under here you can see that this is a wishbone type setup this is the rear one. We have new bushings in here. Um, this does your caster. And the one up there, right up in there, that's your camber adjuster. So you adjust this one from the bottom, and you adjust the strut type ones from the top. And any time that you make changes to your caster or your camber, you're going to want to adjust your toe after you do that because adjusting your caster and your camber will throw your toe alignment off. Uh, you can see this concrete is really uneven. There's some bumps in it and stuff. So getting an accurate reading out here is not really doable. So if you're gonna use that gauge, be sure to do it in a level garage because as you could see from the results of my video, it was difficult to get consistent results. But for the purpose of this video, I am just demonstrating that tool and it is a good tool to use when you have a level surface. 
Uh, but but yeah, that's it. That is the camber and caster tool, and that is the common type of tool that you'll see if you look online to buy one of those tools. So that is it for now. Again, if you make changes to your camber or your caster, be sure to align your toe afterwards. That is very important. That is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your cars.